Weaponeer here. This time we're going to be doing a review on a pair of boots. Magnum boots. These boots. This right here is the Stealth Force, uh, Stealth Force 6.0 SZWPI. It's a long name. But it stands for a really great pair of boots. This is a shorter boot. I believe this is 6 inch rather than 8 inch. Um, I've been wearing these boots for the last several weeks. Every day. And I love them. I really do. Uh, I started you know, I started wearing boots when I was about 10. I started wearing uh, jump boots. And so I'm, I'm really a person that likes wearing boots. Tennis shoes don't really matter. I, I like a boot. And I like a light boot. This is a light boot. I typically like a tall boot. But uh, I thought I'd go ahead and give the, the shorter ones a try because I also wear a lot of the hiking boots. And, you know, you got mixed feelings about hiking boots but this right here is a little bit taller and a lot more heavy duty and I have nothing but praise about these boots this has you know the ion mac technology it's actually right on the side here and go to their website it's uh, www.magnumboots.com and if you're interested in the the you know the uh, ion mass technology they have a lot of different technologies in these boots and rather than going ahead and and telling you all about it because it gets rather long I shot this video already and it ended up being really long so I'm going to skip all the acronyms and I'm just going to go ahead and say check out their website check out the boots you're interested in and read all about it otherwise I'm going to tell you basically what's about these boots here uh, this is a full grain leather boot bottom and it, it's a beautiful leather so you don't have to worry about anything there it's it's not uh, anything that's cheap so you know, right here I have nothing but good luck with these these are just like combat boots and they polish just like combat boots so if you need to go ahead and put a polish on you can easily do that with these boots these boots as I can see will take a very good polish I worn these boots so they're not brand new they're not clean and so just so you know, I do test my, my gear, and when I come across a, a good gear, that's when I go ahead and I do a review. I don't like doing a review on something I don't like. Not, not any point in it. Um, the top here is 1680 denier ballistic nylon mesh upper. And it's basically here. You've got your leather here and here and leather here. And then you've got your nylon here and here, as well as right here. So there's nylon mixed with leather. And the WPI in the name is waterproof. Um, these are waterproof, water resistant, breathable, uh, lightweight, chemical resistant, um, green technology used to make it and resistant to blood bloodborne uh, pathogens so <laughs> what else can you expect now whenever I buy boots these days or for <laughs> in the last decade or, or so I have been buying boots with built-in zippers in the military I use boots with built-in zippers as well uh, whenever I could otherwise I had them you know, retrofitted and you know, I've got a lot of ankle problems from the military a lot of times I have to wear um, special ankle braces, uh, they're called Arizona boots. And basically it's a boot for wearing in a boot. So <laughs> that's the easiest way to explain it. Uh, I wear that inside this, and I wear it over my foot and then it goes inside the boot here. And it basically it prevents uh, side movement and just about all movement forward and backward as well. Uh, because the joints are not what they used to be. I wear that and then I wear something like this that's going to go ahead and offer the extra protection. And I can wear these boots without the Arizona boots and these right here give me a wonderful um, support. So I, I don't have to worry about that at all. I, I was really surprised. Uh, this has the anti-micro uh, treatment in here. Um, so you've got all that. You've got the non-metallic composite and that's for the eyelets and things normally your eyelets would be brass you know brass rivets 
and these right here are composite rather than brass. Brass wears out, brass gets shiny, and if you've got black pair of boots, you got them all you know, buffed up, and then all you see is these little brass little eyelets that you got to go ahead and paint over. So you don't have to have that problem on here. These are all composite material. Um, has a composite shank, uh, compression, compression molded EVA midsole. So really, really high tech stuff here. It's got uh, MPAC stock liner with memory foam in here. So it, it's really comfortable. And I, that's probably why this boot didn't offer any break in. I mean, it, there was no break in at all for me. I was able to go ahead and put this boot on and. And then I walked a couple of, well, more than a couple of blocks, but I walked a few blocks and uh, when I first put them on just to see how well the boots would you know, handle it and how sore my feet would be. And my feet were not sore at all. These are really good pair of boots. The zipper has a little piece of material on the inside so it's, it's not slit here and open. This has got the material here and that's for the waterproofing ability. So. The water is not going to seep in through the zipper and then seep in and get your foot wet. Um, this has um, moisture wicking inside, so if you do have you know, wet feet from, I don't know, you, you're on a you know, 20 mile hike and your feet get wet just from sweating, well, it's going to wick that, that sweat away and keep your feet drier. So that's, that's a really good bonus. Also, since this right here is also breathable, it's probably going to keep your feet from getting too sweaty to begin with. I've had nothing but good luck with these. These are fantastic boots. The quality is astonishing. All the stitching here, they, they use a special anti-fray thread in all their stitching. And one of the things I look for in stitching is, you know, there's always a seam and then there's a stitch. And what I look for is see if that stitch is straight with the seam. If it's not straight, if it does any wiggles or anything like that, or if it's not even someplace, then I can see that there's less quality and less attention. And these boots right here have done a beautiful job. I have not found anything on these boots that indicate there's, there's no lack of quality. All the quality is just fantastic. And with the anti-fray thread, that's just going to make them last that much longer. Like I said, you know, I've worn these couple couple of weeks, or several weeks, I should say, and a lot of that has been in water, deep water, well, not deep water, uh, you know, ankle deep, deep water, and never had any inkling of a drop of water on the inside. Kept my feet dry the whole time. I've also been walking on slush, ice, snow, mud, and it's handled everything. I've never had it slip. I've never had a problem. So I give it really high marks. Um, these boots are, you know, they're, they're soft enough so they give. And that allows you to go ahead and get nice good traction on the ground. You notice it doesn't have much of a heel here. This part right here kind of fills in the heel area. And that's good as well because you now that right there actually has some traction in it. So it, it creates more traction for your boot and if you ever want to go ahead and step on something that's typically where you step and that actually acts as a little bit more cushion. Um, I've had really good arch support in these boots without having to add any additional liners or anything like that and so I've been really happy with them. It's got a really good nice sole design and the sole, you know, the traction comes all the way up to the front here so there's actually traction here so if you're ever on your toes and pushing off, you're going to get traction. Also, the same deal with the back here. It's got traction here, which is unique for, you know, for a military boot. And, well, this is not a military boot. It, it could be one. Uh, it's got a, a kick pad here, and, but it's got the traction all the way up the back. And I really like that because, you know, if you're trying to pull something, you're always doing it on your heels. And so that allows you a little bit more grab on the surface. And this is actually quite soft in the middle. So that really helps with the cushioning. So as you're walking all day long, it's not beating you to death. It's actually you know, cushioning your walk. And if it's cushioning your walk, it's going to make you go ahead and feel a lot better at the end of the day, not so worn out. 
So there you go. I'm going to be doing some. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a big contest, and it's going to be the 28th of the month. Uh, that's that's when the date is set so far. And in that contest, you're going to be wearing a brand new pair of Magnum boots, and it's actually going to be, I believe, a taller pair. Um, so you're going to be seeing a brand new pair of boots going out to the winner of the contest. Be first, second, and third place. First place is going to be a nice brand new pair of Magnum boots. You're going to have to go ahead and do a video response. I hear a lot of whining from people that go ahead and say, well, you got to do a video response. Come on, these are expensive, high quality boots. And the other thing is, is with between all the phones out there and all the cameras and and just about every computer these days has a webcam on it, so there's no reason why people can't do a video response. Um, we're also going to be doing, it's just going to be for U.S. only, I'm sorry, but that, that's just the way it has to be. And we're going to be talking about you know, men's size boots, so you know, I, I can't get boots for you know six-year-old or something like that. And it'd be half, you know, typical men's size boots. So... The winner will be very, very happy with a brand new pair of Magnum boots. And so you're going to be seeing another video on Magnum boots. And it's my taller pair. Uh, I think they're spiders. And that's beautiful boot there. Oh, I can't wait to do the video on that. Very unique zipper and everything else. Um, really love the boots. Magnum makes some fantastic boots. They also make uh, some good clothing. I also use their uh, coat. And it's it's a really nice coat, and I've never been cold in it. I've never had to worry about wind, rain, or anything like that. Their coat is just like their boots, made to last, made to be comfortable. So there you go. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it below. On the boots, on the contest, either one you want. And don't forget, you got to subscribe. It's going to be a requirement for the contest anyway, so you might as well subscribe now if you're not already subscribed. And please rate my videos. It's the only way I'm knowing I'm doing a good job. I spend a lot of time and a lot of money to go ahead and have good video, good audio. Don't always get it perfect, but I try really hard to do the best videos I possibly can. And by rating the video, at least I know I'm getting somewhere with them. So there you go. This right here, highly recommend these pair of boots. So once again, this is the Stealth Force 6.0 SZ WPI. Highly recommended. There you go. I'm Weaponeer, and I'll catch you in the next video. Come on.